Welcome back to Little Spy Lyra. Today we're going to make miniature dried corn or harvest corn. To start, you're gonna need one of those little nubby parts of pencils that everybody seems to have laying around their house. Not quite really long enough to keep using, but feels like a waste to throw away. Well, today we're gonna put them to use. Start, you're gonna need some Dollar Tree pearl stickers. They come in a sheet and they're connected by a little string of plastic and it's all adhesive. But because we want these to last, we're going to use hot glue to adhere the sticker strips to the pencil. Now, as everybody knows, pencils aren't typically perfectly circular barrels. They have uh, planes on them. So we're going to put a bit of hot glue down on the metal part of the pencil and a little way up into the wood and secure our first bead. Then we're going to take the hot glue and run it up the length of the pencil all the way to where the lead is. Incidentally, if you've got a lot of lead showing, you don't want this to be like a super sharp point. So go ahead and break the lead off or scribble it down until it's pretty much flush with the wood. That being said, once you get your first row of uh, pearl stickers, you're going to turn the pencil over to the next plane and you're gonna put pearl stickers in between each of those. Go around the entire barrel of the pencil. Now you notice when I just showed you here, I had some like gemstone stickers. Those also work when you run out or don't have any pearl stickers. I happened to run out. I have some Waverly chalk paint here in the color of crimson. I'm just giving the, what is now corn, a nice thick coat. Before that coat completely dries, but it's almost dry, I take a little truffle chalk paint, also by Waverly, and I just brush over the tops of the corn. This is gonna give that multi-tone of dried corn. And I think it adds a little more realism because I've never seen a bright crimson uh, ear of corn before. Have you? Notice here, I'm just getting in between all of the kernels, quote unquote, and making sure it's got a nice solid coat and putting it aside. I made two others. The one I just showed you was in the color maize, the yellow color from Waverly chalk paint, and I'm giving it a coat of antique wax. Once I've got it nice and cover it up, I'll just grab a paper towel and wipe off the excess. This gives it kind of a dried out effect. Then my third one, I painted it in truffle and I'm taking a bit of hazelnut here and I'm gonna go into more specific kernels and paint those with the hazelnut. So I have mostly the dark brown truffle color. Then I've got a little bit of hazelnut colored ones and then when I'm done with the hazelnut I'm going to take a little bit more of that yellow maize color and see maize not lying to you <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and paint out some of the kernels with that color as well if you like painting this is definitely a project for you um, you can be as intricate as you like or just slap the paint on. The choice is yours. Next, I'm gonna take a luau skirt from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to take off one long strand of the raffia. If you don't have the luau skirt from the Dollar Tree, you can also use just regular raffia. I suggest because it's dried corn that you use the uh, hay colored raffia and not the new colors that they're putting out. Although those are really pretty, especially that green one. I bet in the middle of summer, if you were doing a barbecue themed tear tray, you could totally do corn on the cob and use that green. It would be adorable. What you see here is I'm going around the corn 
and I am hot gluing a piece of raffia to the metal part. I'm making sure to cover up what's left of the eraser and I'm going up a little bit onto each of the kernels to adhere the raffia. Putting a little hot glue over the top of that, I will start with another one until I go completely around the barrel of the corn. This will make the husk. Sorry for that door close in the background. Somebody just went outside. Please notice here that as I cut each of the strings of raffia off, I'm cutting it at an angle. If you've ever seen a uh, corn cob with the uh, husk still on, the leaves are always pointy. Now you can go through and make it into a triangle shape but for the ease and quickness of making this video, I just cut it off at an angle. Once all of those are adhered and your hot glue has cooled down, just shuck the corn. <laughs> Peel back the pieces of raffia until you get them all into a nice neat bunch down at the bottom. Make sure that any pink or silver from the pencil is covered up with the raffia. And then I took one of those little tiny uh, elastic hair ties, also from the Dollar Tree, and just uh, rubber banded them together. Sorry guys, my brain is just kind of fell out of my ear for a second there. I don't know what's going on. But there you see, you got your first little stalk of corn. Go ahead and repeat for the other corn that you made. And then I had a couple strings left over from Dollar Tree signs. They're the ones with the little plastic nubs on either end. I cut the plastic nubs off. Then I took the first one and I made it into a uh, loop, tied it together, and I'm going to hot glue that to one piece of corn. Now, if you rubber band gets too hot, it will snap. Just be forewarned. Try to keep it out of the glue or let your glue cool down just a little bit before you stick the ear of corn onto it. Or just don't worry about it because you'll see here once we have all three corn attached, we're going to take that twine and we're going to wrap it around. Pretty much the rubber bands are to keep it in place just until we're ready to move along. So you see here, I've got the uh, ends of the twine and I'm just hot gluing and securing them around after tying a knot in the front, just to keep them all in place. Now, since I could still see the rubber bands, I used yellow, that was the closest color I could get to the raffia. If you had clear, that would probably work better. But. I don't and didn't, so I've got that second piece of twine and I'm just gonna glue it, hot glue it at the back and wrap it around, I think it was three or four times in total, and then hot glue it the other end to the back, making it as nice and neat as possible. Guys, I don't know about you, but I feel super clever with this. I love these little corn stalks. And I'm, I'm kind of gonna make a door, like a miniature door to hang them on. It'll be so cute. Hey, there's an idea for next week's video. I guess you'll have to come back on Monday and see how I make a little tiny door. Once all of those are wrapped and secured, I took some Mod Podge, also from the Dollar Tree, and gave them a nice thick coat because, you know, dried out corn is shiny. It's not matte like chalk paint. I didn't have gloss, and I really wish I did. I think it would have been better, um, more realistic, but the matte Mod Podge has a little bit of a sheen to it, so that also worked. And here we go. The corn pieces are all dry, nice and shiny, and I think they turned out great. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week and a great weekend, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.